What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in today's video, we're going to be going ahead and playing through yet another ambush quest. The last couple of weeks we've gone through, went through Whitebeard, went through Garp, and now ambush quest Cavendish is here on Global, where he's going to be available throughout the entire duration of the week by completing the ultimate difficulty of a clash event. So this time we are going to be building a free-to-play Katakuri team and seeing how it goes against Ambush Cavendish. Now, comparing Ambush Cavendish to the other Ambush characters, he's easily one of the less desirable ones. I would say he's he's probably equal worst with Whitebeard in terms of his usability in the game. There's just so many other characters that can just do what he does and just do it better, right? So Ambush Cavendish is kind of a meh unit. I'm really hoping that next week they bring out Ambush uh, Lin Lin. That would be fantastic if they do that because Ambush Lin Lin is such a fantastic free-to-play character. But anyways, talking about the team real quick, we've got 6 plus Katakuri, and we've got some free-to-play subs. We'll talk about more of these characters when we get through the content, um, but before we get into the content, I want to give a massive shout-out to the sponsor of this video. So the sponsor of this video is none other than your boys, Raid Shadow Legends. If you guys have been living under a rock and you have no idea what Raid Shadow Legends is, it is a dark fantasy RPG game. It is completely free to play and it also has cross-device play across your mobile devices, iOS or Android, or you can play on your PC. So there's easy switch between both different platforms. Alright, so we're currently in the game right now. I have three Ancient Shards to go ahead and open up for you guys. There is currently an event where targeted champions actually have a rate booster chance to go ahead and pick up. We have a 91.5% chance to get a rare, but there is a slight chance that we could either pull an epic or a legendary champion. So let's go ahead and see what these three uh, Ancient Shards are going to get for us on my account today. So let's see what we get first. This looks pretty sick. A Tree Fell level 1, so that is a rare. Next is going to be... Grave Chill Killer level 1 with some skills. Attacks one enemy, has a 40% chance of placing a 5% Poison debuff. Poison debuff, always like to see that. And we go ahead and pick up a brand new champion, Soulbound Boyer. Soulbound Boyer's Soulbound Shot has an Ascended skill, which can give you a 25% chance for a crit and a 75% chance to fully deplete the target's turn meter, which is pretty strong. So that's nice to debuff the enemy. Definitely going to be using this champion on my current team to play through the campaign. You can also challenge yourself to the edge in the brand new tournaments where you can fight against the entire raid community in the Spider's Den, the Ice Golem, the Almighty Fire Knight, or even the Notorious Dragon, whilst also getting yourself some pretty awesome rewards and rare artifacts. And in Raid Patch 1.15, which is actually dropping in May, you'll be able to compete in the brand new Arena Tournament, where in this specific mode, you'll be able to earn points according to your tier and win awesome rewards in both local and in global tournaments. Now, you will have to be level 6 in order to actually play these arena tournaments, but that's not going to be a big deal. That takes less than half an hour of gameplay. Not a big deal. Uh, but make sure you go ahead down below into the video description where you can download Raid Shadow Legends today. And if you are using my link, you'll be able to get 100,000 free silver and a free champion known as Grumbler. Just have a look at how badass this guy looks. Definitely giving off vibes of like Lord of the Rings. Absolutely phenomenal, extremely powerful champion. So make sure you go ahead and start playing today to get your hands on him. You'll be able to pick up all of your rewards in this part of the screen right here where the gift box is located, but be quick because you can only pick them up for the next 30 days. So make sure to go ahead down below into the video description once again to download Raid Shadow Legends today. And once again, thank you very much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. So once again, thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video today. So getting into the content that I am aiming to break through this time around, it is going to be against obviously one of the clashes when we find it. Here we go. Um, the, the clash we're going to go up against is actually just Raid Doflamingo. Remember, it can be any ultimate difficulty clash throughout the entire week. So you've got plenty of different raids to choose from. Um, obviously, the, the content that we're going up against specifically that we're trying to aim for is going to be Ambush Quest Cavendish. You know, beating one of these raids is not what I'm really trying to aim to do in this video i just want to show you guys that it can beat it and i want to go ahead and build a free-to-play team with katakuri captain that can go ahead and clear ambush quest cavendish so we'll go ahead and jump in once we find a captain real quick there we go rainbow katakuri let's go ahead and jump in and uh, and see how we go Okay, so we are jumping in. Now, yes, it is a little bit ironic that we are using Raid Doflamingo against Doflamingo, but 
I'm almost certain we're not going to need his special ability. Like, I'm pretty sure we don't need to use it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just be a little bit more cautious because I'm not really 100% sure, like 100% remember what Raid Doflamingo actually does. Um, but like, I'm almost certain we won't need to use the special. We do have Raid Cracker on this team as well. He's a really, really nice special, uh, you know, with the health cut and a full board of dex orbs that he treats as beneficial. But again, they're just not really required. And you might be wondering why we have this blue Hyozo on the team. And no, this is not the rare recruit quick Hyozo. This is actually a Fortnite unit. Um, this is a Fortnite unit that's uh, been out for a very, very long time on One Piece Treasure Cruise. And the main reason why we're bringing him is because he actually poisons the enemy. And that's going to be very, very useful against one of the stages with Ambush Quest Cavendish. So right here, our specials are looking pretty good. I would like to get Raid Crocodile special ready because uh, he's got a fantastic special ability increasing our chain. Uh, as well as um, providing that for three turns, that is, which is just exceptional. And any type of special that, you know, lasts for multiple turns is going to be a great, uh, a great, great special to use with 6 plus Katakuri because of the way that he's built. He likes to take multiple turns at times to kill enemies. Um, so having just abilities like that that can last for multiple turns is going to be exceptionally useful. So that stage four there was where they have the high defense stage. Not really a big deal. But now we've got uh, Doe Flamingo to deal with. So Dofi, there's two Dofis to take care of. This is a very, very old raid. Like this on global, this came out like what? The start of 2015 or start of 2016? I can't actually remember. I think it was the start of 2016. I actually can't remember what it came out. It was a very, very long time ago. Either way, uh, we have Dove Flamingo to deal with. We're going to go ahead and use Crocodile. Crocodile's going to give us that chain boost that we really like to have. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and use Katakuri as well. So Katakuri will give us the full board of matching slots. We have the increased chain, which is going to be very, very nice for us. And we should be able to deal enough damage and get the delay turn one because of the tap timing bonus damage here. And wow, we're just going to do absurd amounts of damage to these Dofis. Just with the tap timing bonus damage, that should be over 2 million. It is, and then we get the delay. Very, very nice. And then we can go ahead and take him down in this turn here. What is this the one? Oh, okay, this is the one that actually puts up the buffs. We probably should have taken down this guy first. But because of everything here, we have the delayed conditional boost. We still have the chain multiplier boost. So yeah, we should be able to get through this without too many qualms here. There we go. So there we go. Don't forget to taken down. Very, very simple raid boss, of course. You know, considering how long that character's been out for. If you guys haven't maxed him out yet, you probably should go ahead and do that. But let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video, which is going to be against Ambush Quest Cavendish. That's a really, that's a really hard one to say over and over again, Ambush Quest Cavendish. But either way, um, so Cavendish is, uh, especially when he first came out, he was, he was pretty difficult because when you enter stage one, he was the actually the first raid boss or the first um, piece of content, I believe, to actually apply slot bind to your team. So we'll go ahead and check this ambush real quick um, because you'll see on stage one how this works. Um, so it was it was kind of funny because when this first came out, there, there were there weren't limit breaks in the game. You didn't have limit break abilities to remove slot bind. There wasn't any character in the game that could remove it. So you literally had to stall out before you reached the final boss stage, which made Cavendish a little bit of a challenge, um, especially trying to get, you know, all, all that turns of stalling. But with this team, I'm pretty sure with the way that I've planned it out, it shouldn't have to stall at all in terms of removing the slot bind. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Cavendish on stage one, Binds our slots for 20 turns. So as I said, back in the day, you would really have to stall through all 20 turns to get your orbs ready. However, I think with this team, we actually shouldn't need a stall. Like, I actually don't think we need any matching slots on the last stage in order to win if everything goes according to plan. Um, saying that, though, we will need our special abilities to be ready to go, right? So that's going to be important. So the only specials that we actually need is going to be the Crocodile, the, the Katakuri, and also the Hyozo. The Hyozo is going to be very, very good against stage four of this fight because there are some enemies with high defense. And there are plenty of ways to get through those characters that have that high defense, whether it be, you know, fixed damage dealing, which is what I was initially looking at first. But after having a quick think about it, there weren't really too many other characters that you could really bring that would help you out in that situation. So I opted to go ahead and bring a Poisoner instead. And I do think it's going to work out pretty well. Um, so long as his special is ready to go, we do get the delay there, which is very, very good. Um, so he is just about ready to go. We need Crocodile to be ready by the time we reach Cavendish himself. So everything's looking very, very good right now. Um, we have this character with a five hit combo barrier. We can actually take our time here and just stall if we want to. Um, Crocodile's on a three turn cooldown. Yeah, we can actually move on here. We actually do not need to stall anymore. We are good to go. All right, this is going to be interesting to see uh, how this team actually plays out and whether or not it's actually ready to kill um, Cavendish. I I'm pretty sure it could work, but we'll see how we go. 
<laughs> All right, so the guys in the back row, the Larpins, I believe if you get them below 50% or if they attack you, I don't remember, it's one of the two, um, they apply Recovery Bind to your team, which also back in the day was also quite challenging to get through. The Poison will definitely kill off the, uh, the guys in the front row, so that's not really going to be a problem there. And there we go. Boom, there we go. Hyozo coming in clutch. And now we can move on to the final boss stage against Cavendish. Now, if I remember correctly, Cavendish has a little over 5 million HP. I believe it was around 5.3-ish million HP. Um, so Cavendish applies attack buff and a healing buff on his side of the field. Now, he does have a full immunity buff, but of course, if we do get that uh, 2 million damage, we'll actually go ahead and get the, uh, the delay, which is, of course, what we're really looking for here. So we're going to go ahead and get the chain buff here. We're also going to go ahead and use the Katakuri special, which, of course, we don't have any matching slots, which normally would be a bit of a pain, but we do have three characters with uh, type advantage against Cavendish, so this should be pretty good. Now, all we have to do is hit our perfects and hope for the best, really, so let's see how we go. Gotta get Hyozo, the two Katakuris, then Croc, Cracker, Doflamingo. There we go. So we do get over th oh, nearly 3 million damage. If I hit my perfects, I probably would have uh, would have reached it there. So I believe he'll do something. No, he doesn't do anything. Okay, maybe it's only on an attacking turn because below 50%, he does do things. I believe he like removes beneficial effects and stuff like that, which normally would be a bit of a pain. But either way, we could just go ahead and use another Katakuri special to get some more tap timing bonus damage. Uh, but literally right here, it should be GG. <laughs> there we go. Completely free to play, aside from the captain, of course, but... Free to play six plus cutter curry team against Cavendish. The only special that was really useful here um, that is probably required is going to be Crocodile. You can replace Crocodile with whatever you want, right? If you've got summonable characters that can fit on this team that apply an attack boost, even that's going to help you substantially. So there is no reason why people shouldn't have Ambush Cavendish maxed. Although, I, as I said a little earlier, he's not really the best of these Ambush Quest characters. But if you don't have him maxed, it's an opportunity to go ahead and do it. Or if you need Super Evolution skulls, you can go ahead and potentially farm them up here as well. Unfortunately, we did not actually get any of those to drop, but we'll go ahead and sell all those because we don't need them. But that is going to conclude this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one with another video utilizing Cutter Curry, this time using a free-to-play team, including the supports as well, if you guys didn't notice, against a brand new Ambush Quest. I am really looking forward to next week, potentially them going to be giving us another Ambush Quest, potentially Sengoku or Ambush Lin Lin. That's going to be great, so you know you can build more teams against them. So that is going to wrap up this video today guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video